Hi everyone. Welcome back to my craft room. My name is Whitney Lucas. I'm with Crafty Thoughts and Whatnots. And today I'm going to show you how I prepare all of the bases for my uh, floral arrangements I do. I've had a lot of people ask me about how I get them done because normally I start my videos with them already prepared and I say, okay, well, I've already added the styrofoam or I've already put this spray styrofoam in there. So a lot of times you guys have Lots of inquiries on how I do it, so I'm going to prepare a few bases today. Um, I don't think this will be a very long one. I know you guys are used to me doing like an hour or two. Uh, but this one should be pretty quick because normally I don't use this stuff indoors. Um, I usually do it in my garage. It's not crazy. Um, it's not crazy to do it indoors. It's just I don't usually do it here. I do it in my garage just in case I get it on something. But again, this craft room is usually very... Uh, used <laughs> you could say it's very used but um um well hold on where's my i need to go to my other account i'm just going to pull this up on my tablet here so i can see your comments when they come in and we can start here we go let me make sure my volume is down okay all right guys so there we go. All right, so and of course YouTube closes. Got to love it. Today's been a little crazy. How about how are you guys doing today? We've got 12 people on. It's kind of late here for me. Well, not late for me. It's only like, what is it? It's only 7.45, but for all you guys on the East Coast there. Hi, Laura and Terry. Hi, guys. How you doing? I know if anybody else is mostly, mostly, uh, most of my audience is usually like Texas on into the East Coast, so it's probably late for you guys, but for me, it's only about 7.45, so... I know I had a larger one planned, but what happened was upon looking at the construction, I'm going to actually just record that one where I showed you guys in my last live stream, I had literally a bucket and then I was putting like, not this one, but I was putting a candle holder, a candlestick in it and another bucket on top. I've had to change that up and it's going to be actually a couple different parts because I have to use epoxy and it has to cure for like a day. So what we're going to do is I'm going to just record that one in the steps that it takes to do it. And then I'll just upload that to YouTube so you guys can see. So tonight's just going to be the easy, fast stuff. And, uh, oh, hi, Mickey K. Hi, Patsy, Pat, and Sharon. Hi, guys. Alabama finally caught you live. That's right, Pat. It's uh, a, uh, what is it, Tuesday? It's a Tuesday night, Tuesday night live. <laughs> so let me uh, push you guys down to the table and we'll get started. I have basically two, there's really only two ways I set up my floral arrangement bases. It's either going to be spray foam or it's going to be a styrofoam block and some um, wire and some glue and stuff. So I've got two of those set up and I will show you guys both of those. For some reason, the YouTube on my tablet is going to be irritating and will not work for me at the moment. Let's see what happens because I need to be able to see it so I can see your comments. Let's see. If it closes again, I'll have to switch to my personal account. So I'm going to push you guys down to the table here. Hi there, Winnie. I'm so glad I caught you first time I'm seeing you live. Well, welcome, Roxanne. Hi. You can always always catch the um, the playbacks, but I know a lot of people like to be live so they can see it as it happens. <laughs> All right, let me push you guys down here to the table. And let me make sure that this is a good view for you. You guys can see very well. Let me know what you can see. Yeah, this looks good. Okay, so... What I have here is I got all these cute little bases I found. I can tell you mostly where I got all of them. This right here, most of these are Michaels. Most of these are all Michaels. Uh, actually, this right here, this is a little tin that I got. My, uh, I think my mom gave me some plants in it. This was like from the grocery store, and it had a flower in it. And I've already plotted that in my backyard. So I like to save the little tin that came in. So I'm going to put uh, some spray foam in this and make an arrangement out of it. This was extremely, I don't know. You know, you find these little containers around your house, right? So it ends up being fun. So I've had this forever. I'm going to just put some, eventually put a thing in it, uh, arrangement in it. These cute little bathtubs. Oh my gosh, look how cute, guys. These I got at Michael's about a couple weeks ago. So these are going to be super cute. I'm going to put some spray foam in them. And you guys are going to see, it takes very little for these. So once I start using this stuff here, this is the spray foam I use. Once I start using it and you open a can, you're going to want to use that whole can up. So I try to get as much together as I can and then plan it all so that you don't want to leave the spray foam cured in there too long because eventually it might be too hard to actually put the dang uh, stems in it. Even with steel picks, it'll get difficult. But um, So I'm going to fill these two guys up, make an arrangement. Another little bucket from Michaels. This right here I'll show you is a bigger item. I'll do that one last and I'll show you guys um, how that's going to work out. That's also spray foam. 
Um, you guys, mason jars work out really well. I'll show you this, this mason jar. I fill them up while they're clear, and then... Um, this, is, this is basically what you can do with them. So inside here is uh, spray foam. And then for the Easter thing, I maybe just stick your little, your little picks and things inside there. So that's where I paint it after I filled it. And then I've, I kind of rub some of the paint off. So you just fill these up with spray foam to a certain point, And then you've got cute little mason jar arrangements. Those are always a pretty good hit. Uh, did, never, never fails for whatever season it is. That That's basically universal. I got this little guy. I got like four or five of them from Amazon, I believe. So I'm going to try it and see. Now there's a hole on the end here, but I'm going to tape it. So this is a little experiment to see what happens. Um, and then some more, another container here, here. And now this little guy I got for free like two days ago at, um, at Joanne's. They were doing like a purchase of like, let's see, they do like a, a, a purchase like, um, with every purchase you get something free from their take from their grab table and over on their table they had a whole bunch of these guys so i grabbed one he's like well even if i don't use this for the season i can either sand that off or i can cover it or even i can paint this if i wanted and then sand it off make it more less of a spring item because i was thinking about putting something christmasy in here uh, but i'm going to fill this with spray foam tonight so i can do this on a separate live to show you guys what i plan on doing with it Terry, it turns yellow after it's been sitting out. Oh, yeah, Terry. If it, if it does turn yellow, but it's paintable. And on top of that, you don't want it to be seen anyways. It's supposed to be just there for you, you know. It's basically taking the place of this stuff, you know. It takes the place of your styrofoam. It takes the place of, you know, items that it wouldn't really fit well. Like for me to cut a little piece in here and get it to stick to this enamel would be difficult because uh, hot glue won't stick in here. I mean, you could kind of rough it up, but... The spray phone is going to stick to a lot of different surfaces that your hot glue wouldn't if you're trying to do like the traditional type of like styrofoam stuck in there. So I'm going to do the spray foam last because that one's literally just a bunch of just spraying. And uh, I'll show you guys what happens to the can if you let it sit too long, all that good stuff. So I'm going to kind of move this stuff out of the way just for a little bit. And I'm going to show you how I do my other type of arrangement preparation. So here's one example, but I'm going to do it with this particular cake plate here. So like this is a beautiful little cake plate. I got this at Michael's 40% uh, off just a couple, maybe like last week or so. It's really, really cute. It has a metal base to it, and I'm going to leave it this color. You guys are going to see this in a future live stream because this is going to be a holiday centerpiece because a little, a little um, sneak peek. I'm going to put this particular item on here, and we're going to arrange it and do just a really awesome Halloween centerpiece with it. So this is how this is going to turn out. And this one is done the same way. Big Texas hugs. Hi, Maria. Thanks. Hug back. Hugs back. Sarah. Hi, Whitney. Glad to catch you. I'm glad you guys are here. Hi, Iris from Florida. Perfect, guys. So I got my... All right, cool, cool. I need a staple gun. And I need some wire. I'm going to use white wire so you can see it. And it doesn't matter because I'm going to be covering it all anyway. So... Here's one that I've already done. This is what we purchased at Michael's just a couple days ago. All their, their containers are like 40% off their fall stuff. So this was like 12 bucks. I got it 40% off. So super cute. looks like a little old fashioned like egg crate type thing. I, I loved it. Now because of the holes in it here, obviously you can see those holes. I didn't use spray foam in it because that would have been a nightmare, right? So the traditional way of doing it is that it turned it from this into this. So now I'm ready to put my arrangement. You could do pumpkins or like a birdhouse you could put anything you could imagine that you would put either on a wall whether you know of course size size appropriate for this particular size of uh of container this is ready to go so if you want to like prep up some of your bases then you know you're ready to go hi kathy from phoenix hi i'm glad welcome you're here i'm happy you're here guys so this is what basically i do anytime i'm not using spray foam this is how i do my bases so i'm going to show you this on this guy here. This one is a little bit unique because this cake plate is a little shiny here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna rough this up on the top. Don't cringe guys because none of this is gonna be seen after we're done with it. So I'm roughing this up on the top here because I'm going to um, put hot glue and staples. I'm gonna staple some, some wire to the top of this. And basically guys, what I like to do that's about as big as my block is. Okay. What I like to do is 
kind of do like a little X pattern. I've seen people where they'll take some items and if they're able to, they'll drill holes in it. I kind of like to be lazy, uh, if you could say that. I don't want to have to do too much, like, hard, <laughs> I wouldn't say hard labor, but like, I don't want anything too involved, like, uh, you know, I gotta go get power tools, I gotta turn on something in the, in the you know, in the, uh, in the garage, and, you know, the, the spray foam is enough to where I gotta go get safety glasses, sometimes I'll wear gloves, depending on how big the project is with that spray foam, but majority of the time with the spray foam, it turns out to be just such an easy thing. So I'm gonna get two pieces of wire, pretty long. I mean, it's way longer than I need it to be, but that's okay, because wire's pretty cheap. So I'm gonna use the white wire so you guys can see it. And I'm gonna put it in an X pattern right in the middle of this cake plate. And I haven't tested anything out with it, so hopefully it'll work out. Otherwise, you guys get to see me make mistakes, which is fun, because I've done that often. And then you get to see me try to figure out how to fix it. So let's just make sure that this staple is gonna work here. So I'm gonna take my two pieces of wire and kinda of sorta of make sure they're even-ish. It's not crazy important that it's even because we're gonna cut most of it off once we're done. Hi Whitney, so glad to catch you live. Hi Sheila. Oh, Sheila, you know, that's the same, that's my mama's name. I love that name. You don't really see it that often anymore. Sheila. Also, I think the, there's a song from the 50s called Sheila. Love that one. Then again, I only know that because I guess my dad played that for my mom when he was, you know, dating her. Good idea. So all I did here is just, I'm kind of holding my wires down here in an X pattern. Nothing crazy important. I'm eyeballing all this guys. I'm not really making sure any of it's perfect. And I'm going to put my staple gun right in the center of that. And yes. Okay. So the staple will go into the metal. And so now I have a little hammer. So please excuse the, the camera shake. Look how cute this hammer is. It's so tiny. I love it. <laughs> I found this. I don't know where the, I don't know where I found it. I think I got it at Lowe's or I don't know. I don't know where it was, but look how cute it is. It's so tiny. Couldn't help it, had to buy it. So, <sighs> camera shake, one second guys. Not bad at all. So push those in. I'm gonna put another staple going crosswise here. There you go. So now that's in there good. And on top of it, I'm gonna put some glue. Not the end of the world. Now what you can do if you want is you can put more, like one more staple out. I'm gonna try to kind of guesstimate how far out I need to do it by where I'm gonna put my styrofoam. So let's just go maybe like an inch out from here. Do the same, do the same thing. Put some glue on it. And then we're gonna put more glue on top of all that, you know what I mean, in order to just, uh, just to secure the styrofoam to the wood. Now, I know there's wood glue, there's wood hot glue that I've used before, but that was like when I was doing like Christmas arrangement type things. Um, I don't really think I need that at this point. Everything else I've made that's wooden that I've done this with, I haven't needed to use the wood glue or the wood, the wood, um, what's it called? The wood glue sticks. Okay, so I'm for that. Yeah, that's why it's doing that. Okay. And then one more right here. I mean, you can get some smaller staples or if you have a better way to secure it, go for it. This is just how I do it. And again, nothing has been measured. Nothing's really, you know, end of the world type things. Oh, let's see, which one do you prefer, spray or block? Uh, both, because obviously I want to make an arrangement out of this cake plate. I can't use spray foam on it because it's gonna be a free form arrangement. So the block has to be used in this point. I don't really see a difference as opposed to like when you're putting the flowers in or like if you're, you're putting them in, other than the fact that if the spray foam has been cured too long before you use it, it will be harder to put the, the, the steel picks or the stems in. And there is one arrangement that I made where I actually had to get like an awl or a sharp metal, metal piece to make a hole before I could put the arrangement. Before I could put the stems in and it was kind of, it hurt my hand, you know. 
complain, complain, all that good stuff. So it was one of those weird things where it's like, wow, I wonder why that happened. It's like, oh, yeah, because I had prepped the base like a week before I even used it. So that's what caused all the issues. So now this is pretty much done. I'm not putting any more staples in it. And I'm going to do like you would normally do and literally glue the bottom of this thing up. And put that puppy down kind of as much as center as I possibly think I need it. Uh, everything's a guesstimate. Like, I'm actually going to leave a little bit more space on one side because of, I know what I'm going to be doing with this on this side. I need to make sure I can do this here. Now, when I get to this, you guys will see this on a live stream too. I have to cut a piece of this out here to get this uh, coffin to sit the way I want it to. So... That's why this is just prepping the base. That's all I'm doing is prepping the base. So what I have to do is I'm going to skip the portion where I cover the, the styrofoam with the Spanish moss until after I get the piece cut out so that I know how to put the coffin in there. That's how I'm doing that. So now that this guy's glued on here, this is just added security is what it is because these are stapled onto the wood. I'm taking my, uh, my wires and I'm pulling them up just enough, and you'll hear it. I want it to bite into the styrofoam. I mean, you don't want to slice all the way through it, but do you see how on each side I went in about an inch on the corner? You can still see it here, but that's okay. This is literally just to secure it. I'm only going to I'm only gonna twist it once. And then I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Pull up enough to hear it bite in. And twist it once. So now you got this cute little mess here, and then you can just grab all of them together and just make a happy little twist party. And see, that's what I'm saying. Like, you've got way more wire than you need. If uh, that bothers you, then measure it out. But for me, it does not. It's more of a time saver, for my opinion. So now I'm just going to hold it with my pliers and twist the base because it's way easier than standing here and twisting the whole thing constantly. So if you can see now... I've got a nice little thick piece here and I'm gonna cut it off right there with my wire cutters and then use my pliers to just push it into, actually, you know what, I could save that. I threw all that away. This is actually still long enough that I can use these on other project. Yeah, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a garbage hoarder too. <laughs> I don't throw hardly anything out, which is really bad. <laughs> so just taking this and twisting it down and I'm gonna push it into the styrofoam. There you go. And if you want, you can glue it, but eventually what we're gonna do is I'm gonna put, you know, after I cut into the, whatever side I choose, I'm gonna, you know, put the, the Spanish moss over it and then we will do a flower arrangement and a pumpkin and a coffin and all that good stuff. So that's basically how I do this particular one. Yeah. No, but if you guys have questions about anything I'm doing at this point, just throw one in there because I've got my tablet right over here and I can see and I'll be checking. So that's how I did this as well. Basically, I just took my wire pieces in an X form. I stapled them in here. This one was a little bit more difficult because it's kind of awkward to get the staple gun in here, but you know, it works out. So I stapled that in there. I glued it and then I put my styrofoam block over top and then I put Spanish moss over that. This Spanish moss is only secured by floral pins, not glue. Because if you put too much glue in here, when you go to stick your floral pieces in, you're gonna hit the glue and it's not gonna be able to go through. It gets, it makes it way more difficult. It's actually really annoying because I've done that before. So, you know, trial, trial and error, it's wonderful. So that's particularly how we do, how I do most of them in, the, if, even if in a container, it's how I do them with the styrofoam blocks. Okay, so off to the side. Now we're gonna do, Spray foam. This one I'm a little excited for because I found the cutest pumpkins, you guys, and I'll probably do this in a live stream next. Th this is going to be a centerpiece. It is so dang cute, the idea I have for this. So literally, we're just going to get this ready to go. And then the next live stream, I'll, I'll probably do this arrangement because I've been dreaming about this one since I bought the supplies for it. I got the cutest little... Um, uh, pumpkins at Joann's yesterday, the day before yesterday. Um, they look like they're wearing, it, it's like they're little plastic pumpkin um, 
forms, but they look like they're wearing sweaters. They're covered in wet material. That's so dang cute. I can't help it. So twist this guy on. If it'll go on, yep. Now you can take this piece off. I've seen people do that. So you don't need this long hose here. I like to use it, uh, but you don't have to use it if you don't want to. Some people don't, I do. Uh, this is what happens here if you don't use your whole can. Like this was, this, and this is a very full can, which actually hurts, but this isn't really expensive at all. You can, I've got this at Lowe's and Home Depot, but you can also get it at Walmart. It's like $1.97, I think. I can't remember. It's only a couple bucks, but it goes a long way. But when you don't use it, the can will eventually kind of like, it clogs up there. And I've, I've, I've unclogged a few of them, but you probably kind of shouldn't do that. You don't really want to stab sharp objects into anything. So most of these bases, you guys, don't really need any prep. They don't need prep at all. Like the I've done a, I've done a lot of a mason jars with the spray foam. If you guys saw on my Instagram and the Facebook page, I did a bunch of little centerpieces for a friend's grandparents' fiftieth fiftieth anniversary. I made some centerpieces. Those were all um, mason jars with spray foam in them. So it was all pretty nifty. And then uh, what I'll do here is I'm just going to start spraying. So you'll see exactly how much you need to fill it up. There have been instances where I have overfilled. And that's not bad because once this stuff cures, you can cut it with a regular knife that you would use to cut styrofoam. You can paint it, you can cut it, and you can do pretty much anything with it that you can do with regular styrofoam. This is just way easier than actually taking little tiny styrofoam bricks and gluing them in here. And it's also way more cost effective because for some reason, I don't know if where you guys are, but styrofoam out here on the West Coast seems to be made of gold for some possible reason, and it's expensive. And it drives me up a wall when I have to go spend, you know, 30 bucks in just styrofoam, and that doesn't count the base, the flowers, and everything else. And it's like, how am I supposed to pass that on to a customer? And say, like, no one's going to want to pay for this because I spent more than half of the budget on the styrofoam. So sometimes this will work out better as far as being cost effective. Um, yeah, just... Uh, let me know, is styrofoam expensive where you guys are? Or am I alone in this? Is this just a West Coast thing? Because, like, maybe they don't make it on my side of the country and y'all just have a better, you have better access to it than I do. All right, so I'm just shaking it up. And then, basically, I get most of these things ready to go. I don't know how far it'll go before I have to get another can now. I'm only going to do one can tonight. The rest of the stuff I'll do you know, in my garage off camera. So I'm just going to see how much I can get out of this can. Um, also, if you come across an instance where your can runs out, right? I've been in the middle of a project before and that's happened. So you run out, not the end of the world, because if you just, if you don't have another can on hand and you can't just immediately go open it up and, and you know, start another one, um, let it cure and then once you got your other supplies back, let it cure, and then you will be able to just apply more spray foam on top of it. You'll actually see how little you'll probably need because it'll already rise as it's curing. So let's let's just get started. This one I'm going to tape on the bottom because this one's going to be experiment. If it doesn't work out, then I'm going to have to dig it all out, which I've done before, and it's not that bad. I have some masking tape somewhere. Right. I'm just going to use scotch tape, guys, but I had masking tape somewhere. Oh, I think it's out in my kitchen. So I'm just going to tape the bottom of this. I'm going to put like a little lip on it here so I can pull it off. Because there is a hole in the bottom of this, so I put the tape there and we'll see how that goes. Any questions, you guys? Nothing's coming through. Is everything okay? Like I have good sound in the picture? You guys are okay with everything? All right, I'm going to continue. I don't know if you guys can hear anything. I'm not, nothing's coming through on my, on my, my tablet or not. Just somebody, uh, some, somebody send me thumbs up or something. It's all good. Thank you, Ann. Perfect. All right. So let's get started. I already shook this thing up. So we're just going to slowly at first, just get things started. Let me shake this guy some more. Oh, can you guys see the babies? 
There's one. Do you see the one right here? Can you see her? <laughs> the girls are in here tonight with me. You can see one. There's one doggy, and then the other doggy's over there. We got some pumpkin blankets today. I can't help you, you guys know I like pumpkins, right? I mean, I kind of like pumpkins a lot, right? Kind of permanent. <laughs> Thank you, MJ. Perfect, okay. I've shaken it a lot. Let me re-familiarize myself. Oh, you know what? I didn't even know that. It says when you're done, you can actually pull this back and, and, and store it this way. That's kind of a good idea. See? Never looked at it before. <laughs> uh, fully over and back of trigger. Okay. Firmly screw onto valve stem and spray foam. All right. Easy to know. Easy enough. Okay. So, that's going to be just a really small, slow workup. And it comes out, comes out pretty quick. kind of loud but I try to only fill it up halfway because this stuff almost doubles in height so right here on this edge and this edge this might be a little bit once it cures you guys will see in the live stream once it cures it might be a, it might come up a little bit too high so what I'll do is this whole base is going to be covered with the with the Spanish moss anyways so you won't see any of it but that's about it for that one you can see in there the depth of it it's not a very deep container, so I'm only going to fill it up halfway through, okay? So that's one down. You see, that's how fast it goes, guys. You don't really want to... Uh... That one might bubble up a little bit, but I don't think it'll be a problem. So that's really all you're doing. I probably should have only went to here. It comes out a little bit faster than you'd think. I think we're just hanging on every word. That's why it's quiet. No, <laughs> no problem, Mickey. Hi, Sandra. Yay, I'm live. Yep, I'm glad you're here. Glad you're here. Live in Alberta, Canada. Crafting styrofoam is quite expensive up her way as well. Okay. Like you find the spray foam is definitely a much cheaper option. Yes, I saw this on a, uh, I think a home talk thing. And I was like, you know what? That's a good idea. Everything for me is going to be experimental. I mean, if you guys saw the Halloween uh, arrangement that I made for my uh, for my friend and customer, it was a, a it was a three D printed skull that was made out of three D printed resin. So I wasn't sure how this stuff would cure to it. So far, everything I've ever put it in, I have never had a problem with it coming out or not curing properly. So. Again, I've also learned that. Less is more with this stuff, but at the same time, it's never been an issue to when I can't just cut it out or cut it off or shave off the portions I don't need it as. So I'm just starting in the base. Filling it up to a certain point. And then all of this stuff, you guys, I'm going to take out to my garage because the smell kind of will get to you. Um, at some point, it's not crazy. Again, I'm out. I mean, you can wear a mask. If you're overly sensitive, I suggest you do, but, um, I'm not like going to have any sort of like anaphylactic issue or anything like that. I'm not allergic to it. I've used this stuff a lot. This one's a little tricky because this is, um, wood and it's kind of shallow, but what I want to do is I want to try to get a nice little middle piece in here because I don't want to have to get that special glue in order to put star a star foam block in here and shave it down. So this one's also experimental. Now look how pretty this piece is, you guys. Look at this. It's got the wood bark on this side. It's just a very pretty piece. This is all Michaels, Michaels, Michaels. This was the Joann's purchase I got for free for my purchase. So all I'm doing is just slowly See, this one I'm building up into sort of almost like a loaf, a bread, a loaf of bread, <laughs> which if you guys were following me back when I did my little kitchen arrangement series, I, I made a kitchen arrangement out of a bread pan and I put way too much spray foam in it. So the next day 
it literally looked like there was already bread in the pan. And my husband was like, why would you put, why, why is there bread in the pan in the garage? And I'm like, oh yeah, you should go get that and try it and taste it. Cause it literally looked like the fake food stuff that sometimes you see like in model homes and stuff. It's hilarious. So that's what I'm going to do with that one. You'll see this will actually double in size. So I should have a nice little dome sort of feel. And then I can put my um, Spanish moss and my cover over it and then put the arrangement over it. This is how it's all, this is how it all starts, guys. Kathy, Kathy, you never thought of using spray foam. Wow. Yeah, very affordable when you need to fill a bucket like this size. You know what I'm saying? Mickey, I remember your kitchen series. Nice. Well, I'm glad you've been with me that long. Do you remember the bread, the bread, the bread pan? That was actually very hilarious in my opinion. This, you guys, you'll see in the future. Also, if you guys want every single one of these, I'll do in another live stream, or at least I'll try to record. The bigger one that I promised you guys in my my last stream has to be recorded because I need to use epoxy. This one I will also because I plan to put this guy on this little wooden pedestal. You see how cute that looks? I'm going to paint this and epoxy this onto this little pedestal before I make the arrangement out of it. So that's one of those things. This one might cure a little bit longer than I will from using it. So we'll see like if I could do one of those little troubleshooting issues like if you guys want. Again, I'm doing all of these containers for a dollar ninety-seven or two ninety-seven. I can't remember. And whereas, if I had needed to put styrofoam in all these, you're looking at a lot more money. I'm telling you, even just a regular block of, you know, the pre-made blocks that you can get in the floral aisle, is crazy expensive for me. It's like anywhere from twelve, fourteen dollars, and it's like, how can I spend that? I'm spending more on the dang thing on the on the dang styrofoam than I am on the actual container. You use spray foam in a plastic flower planter and it didn't stick. It, it, it got loose. What do you think went wrong? Hmm. I haven't, I haven't yet. I don't think I've, well, have I done plastic? So this enamel would be fine. Plastic. Um, I don't know. Maybe rough it up kind of like with some, um, some sandpaper like I did on that cake stand. I haven't had that problem yet. I'm trying to think if I've done anything in plastic yet. I think most of my containers are either tin, wood, or enamel like this one that I've used it in. I've used it in ceramic. It definitely fits in ceramic because I used a utensil pot. That one that one worked out really well. Uh, obviously glass, ceramic. It works okay in a lot of these different ones. Oh, yeah. Let me try this little experimental guy. Let me see if I can get the made in China sticker off of it. Susan, hi Whitney here from Chippewa Falls, Wisconsin. Hi Susan. Oh, Susan. Yeah, hi Susan. All right, this one I might not be able to get the made in China sticker off of it. It's kind of annoying. Put it right at the top so everybody can see it. Oh, wait, here we go. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Be nice, be nice. I just wish sometimes people would buy the stickers. They'd be like, mm. I know that this person's not going to leave this blatantly large UPC code sticker right here in the middle of their project, whatever they use this for. Let's buy some stickers that don't... See that, guys? That came out good. Um, these I got, I think I got these off of Amazon. I can't remember. I'm going to find out for sure when I actually do it. But they're like little cute, they come on door handles. Honestly, I don't know what I'm going to do. They can actually just hang it on, on a, like a, a coat hanger. They're just so cute. I love them. Also, I could put them in a wreath or an arrangement or a door swag or whatever. It's, it's, I don't really see, I mean, the, the possibilities are crazy good. So I'm just going to try this guy out see how. This almost doing a, um <laughs> oh my gosh what are those things called with the chocolate and the ice cream cone things you're amazing by the way thank you susan i appreciate it i like to just think i'm crafty i just it just it's just fun and honestly guys i'm just doing whatever i mean there's no <laughs> there's no rhyme or reason there's just like you know i think i can do that let's try it so why don't i have a whole bunch of people watch me so that when if i if i fall you know if i'm going down in flames they'll be like hey that's you know, you have that idea in your head and you're like, this is going to be great. This idea is going to go so wonderful. And then it doesn't. I'm like, oh, crap. <laughs> okay. See, this one's already starting to rise up. So it's going to be a little bit more full, probably. It still has more to go. All this stuff, it says it takes about... Oh, geez. I don't know how many hours. But I know it takes exactly one day for it to be fully cured. So there's still instances where I've had people tell me some stories that... Um, 
uh, refrigerator, oh, no, re restartable for up to four weeks. That is not true, you guys. This is not restartable because I have done it in, yeah, no. Exposure to sunlight causes discoloration. Paint or coat, okay, I know that. Um, I forget how long it takes. It starts to cure pretty quickly, but it takes exactly one day to be completely done. So I, I know that for sure, one day total. Now what I've done with this one here, guys, is this is a pre-purchased foam guy because I wanted this to be on like a pedestal type. So this is almost the same idea of what I'm going to do with the big one that you guys are going to see, but that one is going to be epoxy and I have an actual like wooden, it's almost, I think it's a table leg looking wooden spindle piece that's going in the middle. And then I'm going to stack this on top of here like this. So these are the uh, containers you see all nested together and you buy them like, oh, I want all four of them or all three of them. So I bought the two middle ones and we're going to make a really cute pumpkin arrangement out of this. Let me tell you, the pumpkin arrangements in my house are not very small. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's show that. Sorry, my my YouTube's giving me a little weird one. It says uh, those are the those are the same shape as a Tussie Mussie. I don't know what that is, dear. I use sterling silver for my daughter's bridal bouquet. Gorgeous. You can do tons. So cute. Where'd you pick them up? I'm not sure. Are you talking about these these little guys here? These are Michaels. The cone shaped. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. These. I'm pretty sure. I want to say it's either Consumer Crafts or Amazon. I'm leaning more towards Amazon because I was looking for something for my mom for for Mother's Day, and I think I grabbed them on Amazon. But I, I don't really buy a lot of craft stuff on Amazon other than my box of glue sticks. But I'm pretty sure it's Amazon. I can actually, I'd have to look. And then uh, when I do the live stream for it, I'm pretty sure it's Amazon. They were really cheap. I could tell you that. That's for sure. It doesn't look, looks like the tape is working on here, guys, because nothing's coming out the bottom there. So tape up that little hole. We should be I okay. And all I did was I, hook, I'm, I hooked it here over on my, uh... oh, shit. Oops, sorry, guys. Excuse me. Excuse my long watch store. I stuck it in the, in my tub, in my little tub guy here. Gonna move this out of the way okay so this one i've already hot glued this flower cone thing this is for um i believe this is for like a memorial thing for like the the grave or the, the headstones on a grave the little flower pots there you can make these out of it i'm not sure what else you'd use them for but it's almost like a vase filler i just flipped it upside down i put the larger base at the bottom and i've already hot glued this guy in there a couple days ago so this is good to go so cute google tussie mussy oh <laughs> Well, I learned something new today. I'm going to. I'm going to. I'm definitely going to look into that because that looks really cute. I mean, it sounds cute. So, after I fill these, I'm going to glue this one to the top of here. But we're we're going to wait to do that. I need to fill these with foam. I don't know if I have enough left in here to do both of these, but I'm just going to fill this in on the bottom as much as I can. Remember, this is when I said if you run out, don't worry too much. Again, you need a lot less than you think. Yeah, there we go, I ran out. You need a lot less than you think you do. Uh, because this stuff does end up doubling in size. So what I'm gonna do is I'm not going to throw that in there. And where did my lid go? I'm going to open up one more, guys, because I want to do this one, too, and then I can just fill all the rest of these other cans up while I got you here. Don't throw this in your regular craft trash. Just so you know, it's not the good. I got a few cans that I keep on hand just because when I do this, I try to do it all in one set. But, you know, there are times where you're going to have leftovers. It's okay. I got, like, four or five other things. I got a bunt pan I can do, too, that I bought on clearance at Michael's the other day. The bunt pan's super cute. It's definitely not meant for food consumption, so they were selling them to do crafty stuff with. I just don't know why. It's kind of weathered and cute. I can always grab that. Hi, Olivia. Welcome, welcome. I see this one. I'm probably going to go just right up to here because even after I put this on here, I'm going to cover most of this with Spanish moss. And this will be up on here, which I'm going to do that before I glue this puppy on. I'm 
There you go. That's good there. And then this puppy. And that's all I'm doing on that one. Again, this is going to double up, so you don't really need to go as tall as you want the styrofoam to be. You're only going to go as tall as about half of it. So you guys will see that once those two cure, I'll be securing that one to the top of it. And again, all this stuff is going to go in the garage or outside. If you have to go outside, you put all that stuff somewhere else to cure. You can see this one's already kind of puffing up. You see how perfect that's going to be for the arrangement once we're ready to go. Then they start to cure, you can tell already, like some of these bucket ones will look like they're done, but definitely make sure you wait, because if you can see that this is kind of jiggly, don't move it around too much, because it's almost like, um, it's almost like a souffle. It will, it will like squish down, because once you're doing it, no one can touch it too much, and don't mess with it too much, let it, let it be. so cute google does well if the cans are completely empty yes but otherwise um my uh my um my trash place has a special you have to go there and drop it off but they have a special thing for like kind of like where you have to you can't throw paint out at least here where i live they don't want you to put paint out in the trash they don't want you to put certain things like some some of them like weed killers gasoline oils different things like that they don't want you to put in your trash these cans um this one's empty but this one isn't. So it's like, just kind of be a little, I don't know, just a little bit safety smart as far as your trash bins go. Cause those things get smushed in there. This one's not. So this is one of those things that's probably going to sit in my garage for a while before I collect up a bunch of stuff and then not take it all down there. But there's also like special pickups. Hi, Marianne. Hi. Um, there's special pickups that we have here in Vegas. You can schedule large pickups and you can schedule other pickups so it's one of those things where i could probably call but most of the time is i collect up a bunch of crap because sometimes i get uh oil-based items or um stains different things like that that i don't need anymore or they go bad it's kind of a little bit of a addicting because it's almost like putting soft serve in a um like like a put an ice cream or soft serve in a container. How many people worked in a like ice? Well, no, no, not ice cream. Um, frozen yogurt, right? Now, see, this one's a big bucket, so this one might. I'm hoping this one will kill out the rest of this because I don't have anything much smaller that I want to use just yet. And check out this one, guys. The first one I did here. Look at that. Looks so cute, I can't wait. So we're gonna stuff that. It's gonna, it still has more to rise, trust me. I'm gonna stuff this with uh, the Spanish moss and then we are gonna make the cutest, the cutest pumpkin arrangement. I am so excited for that one. Told you guys I was dreaming. I was dreaming about this arrangement the other night. Yo, you're welcome, Laura. And Joyce, hello from St. Petersburg, Florida. First time watching live. Well, thank you, Joyce. I am happy that you are here. This one's going to be kind of boring. I'm sorry, Joyce, but stay tuned. My next one's going to be super cute. I'll actually be doing flowers and pumpkins and all that good stuff. This is just how I get most of my bases ready. A lot of people were asking me. Um... A lot of people were asking me how I do it because most of the time, obviously, when I start my lives, this stuff has to cure for a day. Um, they're already done and ready to go. And so people are like, well, how do you do it? So... And I still have some left, so let me see what else I got, guys. I'm going to have to go grab a little container somewhere. Let me see what else. I got... I can't really tell how much is in here. I don't think I have enough to fill up a big old thing, but let me check. Let me check. Let me check. I know I have something somewhere. Trust me, I will find them. All 
All right, well, I'm gonna try a bigger one. Hold on one second, guys. <sighs> this one should be my last one. I found this right here. I got this on Amazon. I know for sure I got this on Amazon because I made my mom a Mother's Day thing, and this is, I bought two of them. So I'm gonna try to kill out what's left in here in this. This was an Amazon purchase uh, earlier this year, obviously, because I bought it, I think, maybe in, in February or March for a May's Mother's Day present for my mom. So hoping that I can kill out what's left in here. Oh, look at that. Never mind. All right, I'm just going to stop. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to wipe that out because that's not even enough. So that worked out. That worked out okay. And this is the stuff you do not want to get on your hands. So I'm just going to wipe this out over here. And that's it, guys. Do you have any questions of anything you saw that you kind of want to more info on? Or is there any other requests? Sorry, guys. I had to grab some paper towels. I just ran off camera for a little bit. Just uh, got some paper towels. Let me pull up here so you can see me. No makeup today, guys. Sorry, don't tell nobody, okay? <laughs> don't tell all the thousands of views I'm gonna have not wearing any makeup. So, uh, had to grab some of that. Let's see, does this take the place of floral foam? Yes, it does, Joyce, and it's also very affordable. Now, if you just joined, I did this one. This is floral foam, oh, you can't see. This is floral foam here. And then this is a prep for my next project that you guys are gonna see. This was uh, earlier in the video. Or in the live stream. So once this is done rendering and it's it's back up on uh, YouTube, you'll be able to see how I prepared this. And this will probably be my next live stream. Other than I'm really excited to do this pumpkin one. This will be my my next live stream. So there are instances where floral foam is still needed. It's still very very well used because you can't get away from having you know having to have certain certain things just can't spray foam in them. You know what I mean? Certain things you're just not able to. Uh, use it that way if there's holes in it if it's you know earlier someone had a problem with the plastic so i'm curious to actually try a plastic project see and i just wiped that out guys that's all i did was wipe it out just be careful not to get it on your hands because it'll be there for like two months <laughs> um this particular one here uh joyce um this has got holes in it so we're not going to be able to spray anything in here this one was prepared the same way as this this styrofoam block we had to put some wire in it and some hot glue and put some styrofoam in it and then cover that with spanish moss so you can't see its ugliness oh let's see what brand are you using what brand of uh spray foam this is just a well, it's called great stuff gaps and cracks i think there's a blue blue can too i'm not absolutely sure but um it says it has a restartable straw you guys you can't restart this stuff that's, it would be nice and dandy if that were true, but that ain't true. You can't restart this stuff. It's not true. Don't believe it. Do you see my babies? There's the girls. Everybody was asking last time. There's Zoe right here. And then there's Tootsie. Do you have set days for live streams? Uh, Laura, I don't. There are sometimes there's just, like right now it's, it's oh, Jesus. Don't get it on your skin and then I stick my hand on it. Oh. Be careful, guys. And then she sticks her finger and her thumb on it. This is the one I just did. Yeah, where's the lid at? Jeez, Whitney. Ugh. Okay, should be good to go. See, that's going to stay on my finger. It's going to be like a little shiny. Didn't get it on my finger now. That's all right. Uh, da, 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 da. Sorry, just got here. No problem, Sylvia. It's not a problem. The brand I'm using. Oh, yeah, that's it's great stuff. I get, I've gotten it at Lowe's. I've gotten it at Mc, um, I was about to say McDonald's. <laughs> I've gotten it at Lowe's. I've gotten it at Walmart, um, Home Depot, the big, um, the big, uh, you know, chain hardware stores or small ones. We have one I used to, well, actually, I don't even know if True Value is still in business. True Value it used to be Ace Hardware, True Value, stuff like that. Any, if you guys have any of those out there. Uh, and Laura, the set days for live streams, I don't. I uh, had issues before where I would promise you guys I'd be here at a certain time. And then I wasn't able to make it. So those stresses kind of got to me a little bit. And I don't want to stop doing videos. I just want to show up and have fun with you guys. So I kind of try to maybe put a post out in um, 
YouTube and say, hey, you know, in about an hour or two, I'll show up, but you should be notified. A lot of times I know these apps and these, these companies don't notify you guys, even though you're following them. So we're kind of at the mercy of YouTube and Facebook and all those other kind of stuff. But I'm not going to be doing Facebook Lives anymore. I'm going to be just a YouTube girl so far. I mean, I'll post all the links and stuff in Facebook. I'm not going to stop Facebook. So if you guys follow me there, you'll see pictures. But for now, I'm not going to commit to a schedule. But um, I still want to continue doing these. So I, I think as I continue going, because I'm getting you know my spark back, that I will probably do at least set days, maybe not times, but set days. Cause even then it's uh, eight 30 at night where I'm at. And I was kind of concerned. I know you East coasters are probably not going to be, at least a lot of you guys won't be around this time, but um, I got more viewers now than I did a couple days ago. So maybe you guys are all night owls. <laughs> Let's see. I don't know if you've seen my Facebook live. Well, thank you again for your video. My oldest daughter who is high functioning autism has been coping well with the loss of her father. I'm so sorry, Susan. She's been in my studio creating baskets and whatnots. We found you five hours before he passed and away, and you have been a lifesaver. Oh, well, Susan, I'm glad that I can at least give you the, you know, the distraction you need at a time like that. That's, that's nice and sad at the same time. I'm so sorry, but I'm glad that I can be here for you in, in any possible way. McDonald's. Yeah, can, make, <laughs> yeah Mickey, it's... You know, there's a McDonald's in my Walmart, which is probably why I was saying that. That or I want some French fries. Who knows? Sylvia, you're in New Jersey, so it's late for you. Excited for more videos. Thank you. You're welcome, Laura. Anytime, you guys. So, oh, we have one that's up scratching her face on the floor. This is a dirty baby. Zoe. Zoe. Are you eating stuff on the floor? <laughs> Anyways, guys. Um, next live stream should be in a couple days. I want to, if I can't do it by Thursday, I will be on here sometime on Friday, maybe Friday afternoon, my time. So again, don't want to make promises, but I also want to at least give you an idea. Um, I really want to do the pumpkin one guys. It's so cute, but I also really want to do this pedestal one for Halloween, but this one's going to be so cute. <clears throat> I mean, I've dreamt about it, so I already know what I want to do with it. And you guys are going to love it. It's very, very simple, very easy. And this is going to be like, do you see how long this is? This is going to be an awesome centerpiece for uh, just, a, you know, a dining room table. And it doesn't have to be a big table either. I mean, I could put like literally put three placemats under this on the table and you're done because we're going to put pumpkins and flowers. Oh, it's so cute. It's so cute. So I'll probably end up doing that one first because I'm a little impatient and I really need to use those pumpkins because I love them. <laughs> thank you so much you're yes you're welcome and thank you too susan you know you guys help me as much as you, i don't know if you guys know but you help me as much as you guys tell me i help you so we're all here for a reason so i'm glad you guys enjoy the videos i hope that this at least gave those of you who had questions a good idea of how i put most of these together and um yeah renee i can't wait for the pumpkin ranger. yes me either <laughs> me either i love pumpkins you guys I love them love them love them year round pumpkins are not only for the end of the year they should be around all the year long all right, so with that, you guys, um, thanks for joining me. Sorry, this is a really weird angle. Thanks for joining me, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next live stream. I'm getting excited to get back into the swing of things, so I want to kind of try to do more of these per week, keep everybody up to date on how we're doing stuff, and then the fall tree will be coming out soon. So, you know, we're almost through September. My birthday's in about a week. Oh, no, like two weeks. My birthday's at the end of the month, so after my birthday, I'll probably have the tree out and then maybe do a live stream of me putting the fall stuff on it. So, you know, I call my Christmas tree a harvest tree through October and November. So you guys can uh, maybe, if, if you want, I don't know if that's gonna be boring or not, just watch me put my uh, fall tree together in different increments, because it's basically like, it takes a couple days. So, all right, no more, no more questions. All right, thanks so much, guys. And until next time, you guys take care, stay crafty. The girls, you know, this one's bored. She doesn't care. This one's sniffing, so she might need to go outside. Thank you from Illinois, and happy birthday. Thank you, Tina. Yes. It's not the big one yet, but it's close. <laughs> it's close. I'm very close. <laughs> Thank you for your life. Have a good night. All right, guys. Thank you, Renee. Thank you, everybody. Have a good night, too. And uh, I'll see you guys in just a couple days. Hugs to all. Bye-bye.